Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is my RS200 and that is my new helmet. So I want to tell you all the reasons why I bought the SMK Titan over other helmets like the PMT, KYT, Vega and uh, I think uh, even Studs, Aerox, Axis, all of them, not Aerox, I said Aerox, it's XOR. So I want to start with something really important, uh, it, was, it was important to me is that I wanted a quick release strap and not a D-ring. I know a D-ring is more secure and it's legal on racetracks. But this is what I'm more comfortable with. This is what I think works for everyday use, everyday commuting. Uh, another reason is I wanted a dual visor setup. So this comes with a dual visor which I can use during the day while riding and in the night there is a clear visor. Uh, I wanted something that could match uh, the bike but unfortunately I didn't get that color. Very important thing you should consider when you buy a helmet is obviously the certification. and. This is ISI certified as well as ECE certified. Uh, my previous helmet was only ISI certified but it did save my life and my head during a really really bad crash. So I think full marks to ISI for whatever they are doing in terms of safety standards. But this has additional one more safety standard on it. Uh, the website says that it's DOT certified but I don't see the DOT sticker over here. Another point which I would say is a negative uh, is the weight. Because this is 1750 grams which makes it heavier than my studs helmet. Now I wore the helmet in the shop and I wore it a few times at home and I didn't feel that it's heavier but the numbers do suggest that it is heavier than my studs helmet. Uh, additional feature which I was not aiming for but it's on this helmet so great, it's a brownie point, is the anti-fog uh, element that they have in the visor which is useful in the rains and in the cold. But here in Mumbai, it doesn't really get that cold. Maybe a little bit in the rains because of the humidity, it can get fogged up. So you have an anti-fog setup, which is quite helpful. Another thing I wanted to mention is the shape of the helmet. You can see it's extended towards the front here. This part, it's extended. It's got this longer chin and it's got a kind of a spoiler at the back. That's what they call it nowadays, spoilers. And I went for a quick run on the RS200 and I noticed that it's quieter than my studs helmet. At least that's what I feel uh, and that has a lot to do with the shape and the aerodynamics behind it. You can see this, this crease over here, it all adds up to give you a quieter experience when you're riding so that you can hear your surroundings better and uh, be more aware of who's around you. So uh, I'm wearing the helmet right now as you can see, it's very rhetorical but you can see how the glasses are fitting in, it's quite well fit, not loose not popping out not tight also which is a very good thing so right off the back i think uh comparisons need to be made between the old and the new this is my old helmet the studs decor d5 i think uh it had this camo blue color and my action camera is mounted on this and this is a new one you can look at the size you can see the state of the studs uh the studs got a bad bad hit uh, if you haven't seen my video of my crash at 110 kilometers per hour tank slapper then this helmet saved my head during that accident and this was only isi certified so yeah so this is some of the documentation you get with the helmet and a fun little keychain 
So that is all for this video. If you have any more questions about the SMP Titan Firefly series, please put it down in the comments. Till then, like, share, comment up saying that again. And remember, you ride a motorcycle always. I forgot to say subscribe. Subscribe also.